Registered Environmental Practitioner RMP is positioned at level 5 on the regulated qualifications framework in the United Kingdom. Uh, to put that into context, that's the equivalent of a, an HND uh, High National Diploma. Uh, our other qualifications within SOCEM are positioned at level 3, which is the Registered Environmental Technician, and level 7, which is the Chartered Environmentalist. So who do we think the RMP should be aimed at? Well, anybody who has completed or is contemplating completing one of the new Level 6 Environmental Practitioner Apprenticeships uh, should be an ideal candidate for this. The apprenticeship was introduced in September 2019 and it's positioned at Level 6 on the Qualifications Framework, which is the equivalent of a bachelor's degree. And it's a combination of academic knowledge leading to the award of that degree and practical environmental experience. And somebody graduating and completing that apprenticeship would be ideally placed to uh, apply for and qualify as a registered environmental practitioner. In addition to that, we see RMFP as being a potential progression route for those who want to uh, proceed on to become a chartered environmentalist. And uh, it could be taken at an earlier point in their career before they attain the levels of a chartered environmentalist and it would give it a good introduction and professional recognition at an earlier stage in their career. Registered environmental practitioners could include environmental consultants, biodiversity officer, uh, fishery officer, water quality technical advisors. There's a whole range of roles to which RMB would be applicable. Some of those roles have got a pure environmental focus and uh, it would be obvious that this is a qualification that is completely aligned with that professional uh, sphere that the individual is operating within. But equally, the qualification would be applicable to someone who perhaps has a different professional focus and for which the environmental practitioner element is a uh, key, but not necessarily what they see as their core support. So, for example, somebody who might go on to become a chartered engineer uh, could see the RMP, the Registered Environmental Practitioner qualification, as a perfectly good way of demonstrating their environmental credentials operating within their own professionalism. And the same for those who might go on to become chartered scientists. So the qualification can be seen as both a standalone qualification in its own right, it can be seen as a qualification that sits alongside another professional recognition for somebody who is uh, operating in a dual environment. And it can also be seen as a qualification that can be used uh, as a progressive path for somebody aspiring to become a chartered environmentalist. It's equally a qualification that would be a natural follow-on to somebody who is qualified at an earlier stage as a registered environmental technician. And it would be appropriate for those individuals as their career develops to uh, either acquiring extra knowledge, uh, building up their competencies, to see RMFP as being a natural um, next step uh, as they develop on. And of course RMFP is a standalone qualification, perfectly uh, credible and uh, respectful in its own right.